All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about the three tips that you need to pass your NCLEX. And you might have it in the next few months, or maybe you're coming to the end of school and you have a big exit exam coming up. This can help with that, too. One thing that I did do when I was studying for the NCLEX, and it helped me stay, it helped me like keep my body engaged while I was reviewing the questions, was to, um, I would open up a Word document, and then I would have the computer questions above that and then I would type the questions as I was reading the questions and the reason why I did that was because if you're just reading the questions you I, if you're like me you can start to get really sleepy one word can just go to the other one um, by typing the questions on like a word document it helped my body stay engaged mm -hmm. and it helped me read every single word of the question um, that document I didn't care about, I did but just throw it away. It was really just to help my body stay engaged in the material, and that was it. So pretty so, so pretty much you just opened up a, just a random Word document that yeah. was blank. It was blank, yeah. And then you just took an NCLEX book, and then you just retyped the question? I, so I would have the NCLEX book, or I would have like questions, because each um, book comes with a CD-ROM. Oh. So I would be doing questions on the CD-ROM, or questions. So I basically had like two windows, one for like a Word document, one for like the CD-ROM, and I would just like type questions okay. so just so you're like you need to find ways to, to keep your your alertness because fatigue for me fatigue is like a huge thing to, yeah. to conquer like especially with the i mean the NCLEX is like you know you're in this room and it's yeah. cubicle <laughs> it's freaking stressful it feels it's, like you're being it's really stressful yeah harassed and terrorized yeah. <laughs> for sure but i mean that that kind of leads into the next thing you were telling me about is that you said don't read too much into the answers. You said read the question first. Yes, yeah, so read the question first, and then without looking at the answer options, mm -hmm. you want to think about what the potential answer could be, and then instead of just reading the answer options, try to look for what you thought would be the right answer. Because the questions are meant to confuse you, or the, sorry, the answer options are meant to confuse you. Because if you read the question wrong, then that wrong answer is gonna be there. So you have to be very careful with the answer options. Yeah. So you can't just like read read the question and then read the answer options. Like right. it's you have to think about it before you even look there, and that, which is hard to do because yeah. when you're reading it, you're so nervous that you just want to like read all of it. But mm -hmm. you really have to take a deep breath, read that question very carefully because one word mm -hmm. will change everything. Yeah, and I, I always yeah. tell them, like, don't shoot from the hip. Like, don't just, yeah. like, go in guns blazing and, like, looking at the answers. Guns blazing. Yeah, seriously. It feels like you jump jumping into a saloon and, like, pew, pew. I did this on one of my videos, and he's like, oh, yeah, booby guns? Like, what? <laughs> so, I mean, I totally agree. Like, a lot of our instructors, they would say, oh, yeah, you know, like, cover up the answers, like, on the screen. Yeah, if you can do that. Um, I, I didn't physically do that, but when I was yeah. taking my nursing exams that were paper, I absolutely covered up every answer I could. Right. But that helped me, like, even though I, I didn't do that on the NCLEX, mm -hmm. that helped me learn to not look at the answer yeah. options. You don't want to look there. You want to think mm -hmm. about what the potential answer could be. So, like, break down the question. That's why I like your yeah. um, your Word document so well. Yeah. Is because you actually take time to retype the question, mm -hmm. and you're breaking it down into your mind. Yeah. I think it's just good, like, you know, it's like being in the gym. Yeah. Like working now, out. let me like say if you're a very 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 slow typer, it yeah. might not work for you. Maybe you might want to yeah, you might want to just maybe like follow along mm -hmm. with your finger. So, but I'm I'm very fast at typing, so for me it's like reading and typing is like one swift movement. But when you're sitting down to prep for the NCLEX, uh -huh. obviously you're taking two two and a half years of information. Yeah. So what did you do to or what do you recommend doing to even start like what, what would you recommend yeah there's, there's like I, I don't even know how to phrase the question because that's such a broad question there's so much like information yeah. guys and we usually get this a lot on our youtube channels you probably get this a lot yeah. it's like how do i prepare for my end clicks and guys like there's what like probably 10 different big subjects like what do you have peds ob um psychiatric med surge med surge alone yeah. is like seven different yeah. huge categories mm -hmm. um guys i always recommend um, and I talk about this in my NCLEX prep course at NCLEX75.com. I always talk about starting with your top three most difficult topics. So let's say that you really were good at OB and pediatrics, but you really are not good at psychiatric, med surge, and pharmacology. Guys, those are your top three, and you focus on that first. And I'd recommend that you take as many questions, well, not as many, um, take at least like 50 questions, 
on all the topics if you really don't know which one like you're really bad at yeah. and then whichever ones like you um, score lowest on then you can go and focus on those primarily but you have to have a top three in your mind or on a piece of paper that you really need to focus on because usually people will fail the NCLEX if they get that topic. Absolutely. It, and it, it just, sticks. Like when I was sitting the NCLEX, it finds your weakness. It does. I don't it, know yeah. how it does it. It At, finds yeah. your weakness. And I mean, yeah. it probes. Mm -hmm. And it, it keeps giving you questions. It's horrible. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy <laughs> test. I've never seen anything like it before. Yeah. I swear they're like making it up as you're mm -hmm. taking it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so, a, it's like a torture <laughs> film or something. Like a horror <laughs> film. But I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> But that's why, guys, like, you can probably, like, you know, um, get by with something you kind of know. But if you have no clue of what the heck digoxin does, um, then you definitely need to focus on pharmacology. And so I recommend in NCLEX75.com um, taking 30 to 60 questions a day at least five days a week. Um, and I know some instructors will say, like, oh, you need, like, 100 to 200 questions a day. You just, I mean, you can't. Yeah. You can't like completely exhaust yourself. You have to yeah. sleep. And you have to pace yourself. Yeah. Pace it out. So, um, there's a free trial at NCLEX75.com, guys. Um, it comes with 275 videos that break down questions for you to help you prepare for your NCLEX. And Empower RN right here, or Empower in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She has some great videos on YouTube. The Beta Blockers is my favorite. <laughs> Caroline also has a book that has a lot of study tips, and it's very inspirational if you guys get down in the dumps and don't think you can make it through <laughs> nursing school. This is How to Succeed in Nursing School. She's actually um, my inspiration because I never wrote a book before. <laughs> very good book. You can get the link down below to purchase on Amazon. Um, it's one of the best-selling nursing books for nursing students to help you get through nursing school, coming from one of the best... YouTube nursing channels out there. Thank you. Well, make sure to subscribe to her channel, and we will see you in the next video. Subscription link is right down here. See you there, guys. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.